Welcome back to Days Off Adventures. 101 things to do in Mackay. Guys, someone decided it was going to be a good idea to give me all accesses pass to be social. Guys, we got 360, we got Mole Rat, we got San Francisco, we got Grinspoon. Some of the biggest artists in Australia, and they gave me a backstage pass. Idiots. We're about to go see some people in the line, see who they're here to see, who's their acts. Let's go have a look. See what some of the crowd want to see today. So, who are you here to see today, mate? Uh, 360. 360, me too. He's been a while, hasn't he? Yeah, it's been way too long. Yeah, I liked his first album, definitely. Yeah. So what about Grinspoon, mate? Big fan? Uh, not too much. Not too much? I'm a bit young, I think. Yeah, I suppose. Grinspoon's definitely my age. <laughs> I used to play them at school, but yeah. Um, what do you reckon about today? What do you reckon about the venue, mate? Oh, it looks amazing. I can't wait to be in there, dude. Yeah, it's going to go off today. Righto, we're going to interview some more people. <laughs> Righto, boys. <laughs> Hello. Righto. Who are you here to see? Um, oh, definitely Red Hook, 100%. Yeah? Right? yeah? I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> what do you boys reckon about 360 making a comeback? I don't know who they are. 360? Wow. We've got, to, we've got to ask ourselves here, best dressed or not best dressed? I better take my jacket off. No idea? No, I'm just here to have a few and get a bit loose. Real loose? That's pretty good. That's what we do at yeah, festivals. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Isaiah. Dano. Hey? Dano? No, no, no. Dano? I don't Dano. know. Dano! Dano! I don't know. <laughs> Dano. I don't know. <laughs> How's life? Life's pretty good. Yeah? I get to do this. Amazing. That's amazing. Um. Righto, so we're going to try and... Um, we're gonna try and get some some of the artists before they get on stage. Now, one of the artists that are playing are Wild Skies. They are from Mackay. Actually, know the drummer. Been in a few bands with him. Uh, well, no, I shouldn't say that. Hey, Davo, we kind of got taught by this guy. Uh, great musician. Let's go see if we can find him. We're here with the Wild Sky guys. I'm gonna ask them some pretty random questions. It's different from a normal interview that you guys would get, but we're gonna go around and introduce each other. So, Evan, is that all you need to know? Evan, he's the drummer. Ronnie, vocals, guitar. Guitar. Now Mick, bass player, or let me, let me some He does slap at the bass, very good. Righto. Ah, yes. First question, guys. Right. And these are completely random, and I actually got them off ChatGPT. Right. I'm not plugging them, but... If your band chose an animal to represent your music, what would it be and why? Ooh. These are tough questions, I know. Oh, is that a dog? A dog? It's we can buy, but we also like to sleep a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If your band was stranded on a deserted island and could only bring one musical instrument, what would it be and why? We can all play guitar. Evan can play guitar better than everyone, and he's a drummer. Lama, you started on guitar. I reckon a guitar, eh? Yeah. Guitar? Yeah, or you an iPod or something. Good? Number one, number two, number three, I reckon. A little bit of shinfo, Evan used to teach me music back in the day when uh, Davo, the cameraman behind me, we used to play music, we used to go to Evan's house and uh, kind of learn how to play music, he's obviously doing it better than we are. <laughs> Alright, last question guys, last question. If your band had a superpower, what would it be and how would you use it to enhance your music? Um, I think you're the only one who hasn't answered a question yet. Uh, well, we'd have to fly. You'd have to fly? We'd have to fly somewhere. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, fly to the moon and back. Fly to the moon and back. <laughs> good, good plug of our single there, Fly Me to the Moon. Hey, there you go. He's, he's onto it. The wild sky, Fly Me to the Moon. We live in the sky, we fly around. Yeah. I guess that's what we do. Yeah. Super parents. <laughs> I guess it's two verse one at that stage. So <laughs> go on now, give us yours, give us yours. Oh, no. Yeah, fly. We all want to fly. <laughs> Righto, guys. We're going to interview some of the bands today and ask them these questions. They're pretty funny and random, oh, I think. Them <laughs> They're quite profound, but see you at the next interview, really. We're going to shoot some B-roll, you know. That's how we do it.
try and ask some really random questions. I hope you guys are ready. But first, for those who don't know, we need you guys to introduce yourselves. G'day, I'm Emmy. I'm Ned. And yeah. we're, we're from a band called Red Hook. Red Hook. And we're jet lagged AF, so um, <laughs> apologies in advance. <laughs> I'm, I had like eight hours sleep last night. I'm sweet. Oh, I'm <laughs> in, I'm in, mate. All right. My questions. Now, I did get these off ChatGPT. Shit. <laughs> yes. So they are very profound questions, but good. Righto. First question is, if your band had to choose an animal to represent your music, what would it be and why? Oh, I'd say a red panda. A red panda? Red panda. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with that. That's a good one. Yeah, red that is a good one. Red pandas are sick, yeah. and they, I think, like they eat like three times their body weight in one day, which I can really relate to. Yeah. Same, <laughs> same. Righto, next one. If your band was stranded on a deserted island, and you could only bring one instrument, what would it be, and why? I will say right now, everything but drums. That's definitely. Oh up. yeah, not drums. That would be like the sound of my insanity, my sanity just like slipping away. You know what? I think something like a saxophone. Like I think Craig serenade us with some small tunes. It's impossible to be sad when someone's playing a saxophone. It I definitely know. sets the mood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, last question. Uh, if your band had a superpower, what would it be? But here's a, here's a twist. Okay. How would you use it to enhance your music? Oh, Ooh, that's a good one. Like, I would want to like shoot pyro out of my fingers. <laughs> That'd be right, like Starlight from the Boys. Just be like, I think so. Like any sort of like special effects out of fingers and like eyes, but it doesn't <laughs> hurt anyone. Like we don't want to hurt the crowd. Yeah. But cool stuff. Yeah, like that. that'd be sick. That'd like save us so much money, and like would probably also <laughs> be good for the environment. You know, no like eco-friendly. Yeah. Or like you know. Yeah, like I'd shoot pyro out of my fingers, but it wouldn't have any like carbon footprint. That's mine. I look. I I'm not a band member, but mine would have to be something to do with computers to enhance the sales of my copy of my uh, music. That's oh, that's. that's <laughs> Dude, you didn't give us any time to think yeah. about that. I that's, mean, the that's the whole point. Really that's the whole point. <laughs> yeah. No, it's really fair. to put everyone on the spot. But thank you guys for your time. Thank you. It's very much appreciated. Here we are with some of the happy punters here, be social. Who we got? Uh, Lukey, how's it going mate? Buddy, oh, good mate. Yeah, so just right. we've had a few of the bands play already, did you enjoy any of them? Yeah, definitely, there's a couple of big bands out here tonight, fuck. Hot yeah. one though, couldn't see with the sun setting off out of the west there, yeah. the west. I was yeah. nearly going to say east. Rolled in from Perth, so there you go. But um, here to see 360. Of course, he's making a little bit of a comeback there. Yeah, he's definitely. On, he's on tour at the moment. Oh. And, um, stopping in Mackay, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few of the air shades, bro. Oh. Um, stands out about today. Well, it's been a real hard day. Yeah, nice. And yeah. Um, I can tell you now, just a little bit of action later. Righto, we're here with Cautery. Is that how you pronounce it? Cautery. Cautery. Two Aussie. Cautery. <laughs> there you go, that's the proper pronunciation. Um, we're going to get the leather boys introduce themselves. Yo, I'm Conrad, I play guitar. It's good, I'm Tyler, I'm the singer. I'm Chef Josh, I play synth. I'm Bramford, I play bass. And I feel very small standing amongst these guys. Righto, let's get into the questions. <laughs> Righto, the first question is, if your band had to choose an animal to represent your music, what would it be and why? Oh, oh that's a sick question. Um, oh, what's a mana animal? Gorilla? <laughs> yeah, you know, a, a gorilla on a surfboard. Conrad actually is an animal. He, he represents us. <laughs> That's my spirit animal, is my brother. Um, the next question is, if your band was stranded on a deserted island and could only bring one instrument, uh, what would it be and why? Oh, it's got to be the garage nylon string acoustic guitar. Straight up. I've got one of them at home. Miss, missing a string as well is probably yeah, better. Yeah. Yep. Potentially, potentially left-handed and upside down. Left you know? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously got one of them at home and all I do is my missus gets up me because I just play some sort of um, mariachi band. You know, I get like the Spanish guitar going. <laughs> right, -o, last question. If your band had a superpower, what would it be and how would you use it to enhance your music? Ooh. Wow, these are great. Okay. <laughs> um, 
Surely Super. time travel. It's time travel. Time still, travel. still music. Hundred yeah. percent. I go back in time, and all of a sudden, Coterie wrote Wonderwall. So. <laughs> Would you use Wonderwall? That I'd, be, I'd go back like disco, 70s, like um, Earthwind Fire, Earthwind Fire. Yeah. I'd take every single September, bro. September. Every September. My, old, my old man used to play that a lot in his bands, and yeah, that's one of my favourite songs, September. Hey Jude. Yeah. yeah. Dancing in September. Ooh, vocals. Vocals. <laughs> I don't even know the words. <laughs> yeah. Now we all got we all got the singing blood in us. I know that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for your time. I'm super keen to watch you guys set. Bless, bro. It's me. Do you care if I come on stage and film? <laughs> yeah, come. Do whatever you want. Yeah. But when people come on stage with us, he yeah. tackles them. So, up to you, bro. Up to you. <laughs> uh, as you see, guys, it's been a very, very interesting day. I'm super stoked. My best mate, Davo, behind the camera. Couldn't think of anyone else to come with me on this day. But I want to thank Be Social for, coming, uh, for letting us come and uh, filming for the day. Triple A passes, that's definitely a memento for the channel. And uh, so start, the sun's starting to go down now. So uh, this is where things are gonna start to get real interesting. We have to be on our game here, but we still got 360. Hopefully we can get an interview with him and ask him our three questions and Grinspoon. Two artists that I really wanna meet and um, get to know, or not say get to know, but really just to meet them because 360 uh, definitely have had a, 360 is probably one of my favorite artists in the rap world for Australian hip hop. Like he's done so well, went down a little bit, but he's come back. This is, I love a good comeback story. And um, Grinspoon, I played Grinspoon at one of my first uh, rock concerts. Davo was probably there to be honest at school. And um, as you see, we're at backstage. That's what we're doing. So come on, come on, let's do this. Let's do this. First to say it, welcome back, brother. Thank you, welcome man. fucking back, man. It's been fucking Appreciate too long. Sorry for the sweat. I'm a massive fan of you, massive fan. And here I am interviewing you. So, all artists have been asked three questions today. Okay. A lot of them have been stumped. Okay. And they are very interesting questions. Okay. So let's get into it. Okay. <laughs> I'm very energetic. <laughs> if you had to choose an animal to represent your music, what would it be and why? Probably a dolphin. You know how they, they like, they get high and shit? No, oi, actually, your, no, man, your manager dolphin. actually pointed the one yeah, out. Sloths, sloths, sloths. Yeah. You, like, you said it, he we said it. Sloths. I like sloths, they're chill, you know? We, yeah. I, and I'm, I like hanging they're still out. They're some big achievers. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They really are. They, they get around, you know? <laughs> so the next one is, uh, if you were stranded on a desert island and could only bring one musical instrument, what would it be and why? Just a microphone. Is that, does that count? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think that's it. Well, you like, wouldn't, I don't, really, I don't need, you wouldn't really need it because you just sing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, true. We don't need anything. <laughs> I'll take fucking food and shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, Righto, last one. If you had a superpower, what would it be and how would you use it to enhance your music? Oh, so I've thought about this one before. I, I would, I would, what's it called when people change into other people like they can, shape shift. Shape shift. I'd shape shift. That's what I would do and I would have Massive posse cuts with all the best rappers in the world. <laughs> Just me doing it all. <laughs> no, that's that's the three questions. And again, welcome back, brother. Welcome you, fucking man. back. Appreciate it, brother. Nah, man, it's massive fan back. of the music, and it's good to see you back. And you absolutely killed it. Thanks, played man. some old, played some new, and it was absolutely amazing, man. Thank you very much. Yeah.